Welcome back, Raider Nation, to the Raider D Podcast. We are doing a big giveaway, and we're bringing in the three amigos. We are one amigo short. I don't know where in the world Hot Beavers is, but wherever he is, I'm sure he'll be joining soon. However, I am joined by the longtime missing amigo out there. What's going on, Western Conference? How are you? It's been too long, dude. It's been too long, brother. How are you doing, man? How are you doing, Raider Nation? I'm glad to be back here. It's always an honor to be back here on my boy's channel and to go live and just bring content to you guys out there. You know, man, I'm always just busy with work, just getting swamped. But um, I had to take some time out of my beautiful Sunday. You know, I, I said, hey, man, I got to do something with uh, boys here. It's been too long, too long. So I got to... Be here, man, and broadcast live to you and yours truly, man. <laughs> yes, sir, man. How's Pops doing? I know it's Pops' birthday. Yeah, man. He turned uh, 71 yesterday, man. My uh, Pops is still uh, going, you know, and uh, I'm uh, happy that he could be uh, around for this long, you know. So um, I'm just enjoying um, every moment and experience that I can uh, with him for the time being. So I'm very, very happy. Nice, nice. Got a big uh, Super Chat shout out from our boy A-Train. Uh, wishing the best for whoever's going to win the tickets tonight to come hang out with me and Hotspot. Uh, unfortunately, Western Conference is working, man, and cannot make it. But yeah, unfortunately. Yeah, we I'm will working. arrange something in the future, hopefully, to get my boy down here. Hot Beaver's in the house. We are now whole. The three amigos are back together. We we was missing you, bro. We was, we was gonna have to send out the posse to come find you. Oh man, yeah. My, my horse was a little slow today, but we're yeah, good. Yeah, I see that. <laughs> <laughs> What's good, What's up, man? Brother? What's good? How's it down there in Vegas? I'm gonna be seeing you real soon. God willing. Yeah, I mean, uh, it's still hot, so you know, works. For it's me. Vegas. It's Vegas. Yeah, uh, <laughs> yeah. I mean, you know, I think everybody's just kind of anticipating the season that's coming up soon, and. You know, some energy. You know, it's it's great to be in uh, Raider Town. Um, yeah, see all sir. those flags everywhere and that sort of thing. So, yeah, happy about it. So, as everybody knows, I've been advertising this thanks to super fan Raider Ryan, who was able to get the channel four tickets. Um, I'm going to be using two of those tickets. Me and my camera woman, aka my beautiful wife, uh, we're going to be down there with Raider Nation Hotspot. The OG Beavers, your pops. Uh, so we'll be going to the practice on the 20th together. And one lucky winner is going to win these other two tickets that I have. We're going to be announcing that during this live stream. This live stream is going to be an hour long. So first thing you need to do, we've had a bunch of people go to blackbrainofficial.com and enter their emails, sign up for the newsletter, and that got them entered in to win this pair of tickets. The first thing you need to do, as the rule was, you had to be here in the live. So I want to see comments. Everybody who entered to win at BlackRainOfficial.com, right now in the comments, put in your name and that you entered to win the tickets and that you have signed up with Black Rain Official. You don't have to spell all that out. Just say, hey, I signed up, entered to win, put your name, and we can go from there, okay? Um, we're not giving them away just right now, but we are going to give them away here shortly. So you guys got to just hang tight. We're going to talk some football first before we do the giveaway. Okay. Cause yes, I haven't sir. got to hang out with you guys for a little bit, especially Western conference. Um, a lot's been going on, right? So we're going to start out with you, my brother. I know you do a lot of breakdowns. You study the game. You're a student of the game. How are you feeling about Aiden O'Connell versus Gardner Minshew? Number one. And now that we have a little bit of a right tackle controversy between our rookie DJ Glaze and Thera Mumford, what are your thoughts on these two competitions that are brewing with the Raiders right now? So I'll first start off with the whole AOC Garner thing. You know, um, uh, on my last uh, video that I posted, I recently um, actually spoke on this here, but um as you guys know, um, I'm sure you guys have been uh, following what's been going on in camp also as well. But it seems like um, per day since camp has started, one person has a good day, one person has a bad day, or they both have a bad day. Someone's throwing a touchdown, someone's throwing a pick. So 
um, to that, you know, um, I personally be, believe that we truly won't find out who is going to be that guy and who's just going to get the nod going for, forward um, until preseason starts. Because um, some person could have a, a bad day uh, today, a person could have a bad day to, tomorrow, but it's only training camp. So they're just getting in their reps. So I don't really believe, you know, that um, – that really factors into who's going to be the starting quarterback going forward because it's training camp. They definitely got to get their reps in with 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 the first team and the backups and all that. But um, yeah, you know, like um, I just feel like we won't have a really uh, answer for that until preseason begins, which will start this upcoming Saturday, which I'm fired up for. But um, I just feel that um, it changes day by day and um, you guys will hear it from outlets and reporters and from um, sports broadcasters and things like that. Well, uh, Gardner had a bad day. He was throwing ducks. Oh, well, um, AOC looked sharp, but then, but then he threw picks, you know? So it's really, nobody's really going to know until um, we go underway towards pre preseason closer to week one. And with our um, offensive line um, situation there with the um, injuries that we do have, I feel like that we, we kind of have the depth to not uh, worry that much uh, about it. So I don't really have too much concern um, uh, about it going um, forward. Honestly, my biggest concern that I have um, right right now is, um, you know, just all the speculation and the spotlights that we have on our two quarterbacks right now we're just people saying this that he say she say and all that jazz there so that's how i honestly feel about that yeah, yeah. and so you're not crowning the qb the king you're not going to crown him today well so many so choose, many are so, crowning <laughs> so so like right now if uh they were to ask me hey Question, what is your choice for right now? You're going to pick this guy. He's going to go under center right now, and he's going to go in the game. I'm going with AOC. And I'm going with AOC not uh, being biased or anything like that at all. I just feel like um, he has the proper tools. So does Gardner. But I feel like AOC already has the system down from his previous year, and he knows what to do. And um, it's his job to um, lose. But at the end of the day, I'm just happy that there is a uh, competition for that job because I just don't want nobody to just be given that job as per Derek Carr. So I want them, you know, to like fight for that job and whoever wins it in an honest battle, then that's who I will be happy for going forward under center. Nice. Yeah, I feel the same way. Whoever is going to be, um, I'm going to throw my weight behind him. I'm going to support him. Um, oh, yeah. You know, as long as uh, they're doing a good job and Devontae Adams is happy, I'm happy, right? Uh, yeah. I don't have a, a a horse in the race, so to speak, as to who's going to be it. I just honestly, I agree with you. I think at this moment right now, if I had to choose, it's going to be a Aiden O'Connell. I think he kind of earned that right to, to uh, earn those first reps and see what he can really mm -hmm. do and what he can really be. Uh, Hot Beavers, how are you feeling about the quarterback situation right now and – the offensive right tackle situation because reports are coming out that Thayer Mumford has been struggling a little bit at that right tackle, and I know he prefers the left tackle with Colton mm -hmm. Miller's shoulder being injured. I mean, is there a Colton, Min a Colton Miller retirement going to pop up, or is he not going to be healthy? How are you feeling about those two situations? Uh, I'll start with the quarterback stuff. Um, I think – the fact that our quarterback battle is pretty much the most interesting story in training camp all around the NFL um, has caused a lot more conversation about it than is warranted, especially this early. Um, and the media doesn't have much else to talk about pretty much. Um, so I think in any, in any normal world, there wouldn't be such a micro focus on what happens each day um, with players. I think, right now it seems pretty darn even and i think ty goes to aoc because he's younger um and has more arm talent you want to bet on that arm talent i think that's what everybody's kind of you know saying when they say they want aoc right we want the more you know talented physically player to to blossom because he has a higher upside it's not a it's not a, a aoc Minshew favorite thing it's a raider favorite thing right 
Um, so that's where I'm at on that. Yeah, uh, I think there's going to be a lot more that makes sense when they're not playing against one of the best defenses in the NFL every snap, right, um, with an offensive line that is not whole. And so segueing over to that line, um, you know, I had my questions about whether we should have thought about making a trade for Colton Miller before the draft. Um, I, I voiced this and people thought it was crazy, but you trade high. Um, you know, he's unfortunately had that injury and the surgery probably made that impossible. I think if he was healthy. It might've been something we looked at because I do think that um, Thayer Munford is better at left tackle than right tackle. Um, and that is a left-handed, right-handed thing. It's it's not easy to overcome, much like I was advocating for Parham to get moved to his natural position at right guard rather than left, where he should improve. Um, DJ Glaze playing well, right tackle is a, a good sign. Um, we've got some other guys that can play out there. It does, you know, uh, put a damper on our our depth if Colton Miller can't play. Um, which I think is huge um, yeah. because there are guys playing now that we're going to be depth, right. Or competing for right tackle and that sort of thing that, that would be depth. So um, that is out, right. But injuries happen. Um, we are pretty lucky to have a player that we have seen perform well for Colton Miller in this, you know, very, I mean, it's almost the exact same circumstances, the same injury one pre-surgery, one after, right, if he has to play. So that's one thing. Um, and then, you know, we're starting week one against a team that got that uh, got the injury bug hitting them at one of the more important positions also. So we'll see, you know, um, who gets through that, and then we'll, we'll see what's, what happens after. But um, I hope he can get back. I mean, Colton Miller being back would be huge. Um, Absolutely. I want to see what gets, what happens at left guard also, because that whole left side of our line uh, could look different than week one last year. So we'll see. Yeah. So a quick reminder, everybody, if you are here to win the two tickets to the August 20th uh, open practice that we're going to be giving away during this thing, you would have had to have signed up to the Black Rain Official dot com newsletter over the past couple of days. If you did so and you are in the live right now, hit the comments and let me know that you're in the live. Drop your name and let me know that you guys signed up. We will be doing that uh, giveaway during this live here shortly. So you're going to want to let me know that you are in the live because you have to be in the live in order to win the tickets to come hang out with me and this guy over here, like like over there. Yeah, that way. Uh, Raider Nation <laughs> Hotspot and uh, OG Beavers will also be with us. And so if you guys want to do that, Make sure that you drop that comment. Let me know that you are actually here. You're present. Sign in. Check in. Let me know that you're here. We've got one guy, Art Raider, has already checked in. So you got to make sure you're here. Right now, there's only one. So it's looking pretty good for Art. But uh, we're not giving it away just yet. We will see. (laughs) If you signed up, drop that comment. Let me know that you signed up and you are present for the giveaway. Uh, Okay, so... Look, obviously the the offensive situation with the quarterback is still in flux. I don't like it. I wish that we we had that number one guy figured out, and that's the the route we're going to go in. What I what I cannot stand is every single day the people who hate AOC, my my colleagues in this business of of YouTube, um, talking head Raiders content is crowning Gardner Minshew every time Aiden O'Connell forgets to tie his shoelace. Oh, there you go. It's Gardner Minshew's job now. Aiden O'Connell threw an interception. It's over, guys. Go ahead and just make it official. Uh, I've seen several videos saying the same thing today because yesterday Aiden O'Connell, who was playing with the second string guys, because Gardner Minshew got the first string guys yesterday. They keep right. rotating them back and forth. Mm-hmm. And we completely forget that because yesterday he's playing with the second string guys, he throws a couple interceptions, didn't look that crisp, didn't look that sharp. He doesn't have a lot of time with these second string guys. 
He's been doing it with the first string guys. Gardner Minshew looked crisp. He looked sharp. Threw two touchdowns, one interception. They are, they are saying the interception he threw was not his fault. Trey Tucker let it go through his hands, right into the hands of who else? Jack Jones, uh, who has been showing out. Yeah. So that's my, my biggest beef with it is, look, before we go and, and start crowning Gardner Minshew or Aiden O'Connell, we got to let this situation play out a little bit more. We all know that they're not going to make that decision until after at least one preseason game, at least yeah. one, if not two. I don't mm-hmm. think they'll let it go exactly. all the way to three preseason games. I, I think that would be a detriment to whoever's going to be your starting quarterback to make it last that long. Yep. But on Friday, all the reports were is that Aiden O'Connell pulled away because he threw a couple of touchdowns, no picks, and Gardner Minshew mm-hmm. threw a pick. But Gardner Minshew was playing with the second string guys. AOC was playing with the first string guys. <laughs> then they switched it up on Saturday – and now it's the roles are reversed, and yeah. some of the other creators out there who love Minshew are saying, "Oh, see, this is it. This is good. he's pulled away. He's the guy." Yeah, it's, yeah. Uh, it's not there yeah. yet. Let's all just take a breath, hold back, and let the process play out. I, I, I want it over with. I want to know who the starting QB is because I want him to get all those first string uh, repetitions. That's going to be key, vital importance for us to go in and start out hot. We have to beat the Chargers in SoFi. No questions asked. End of story. There is no other option. We have to start out 1-0 and and then go from there. We cannot start out 0-1 and and lose in SoFi and have a quarterback play bad because he didn't get the first string reps. Right. Agree. Yeah. I agree. Yeah. 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 Uh, yeah, I think the longer that this quarterback competition stays even, the more likely it's Aiden O'Connell also. Um, just because of the things we mentioned earlier, upside, arm talent. If I think my feeling is if uh, Minshew was going to take the job, he probably would have established that already. Yeah. Um, as the veteran. Right. Um, so, yeah, I think it's more likely we see AOC, you know, as the starting quarterback to start the season. Um, yeah. Also because we know that Minshew, um, you know, can come right off the bench and perform well game one. Right. Um, yeah. And he's done that over and over again. He also is more of a gamer, so he's going to play better in, in games and practice, which is yeah. typically the issue with him and why he, he doesn't always end up, uh, well, doesn't um, ever <laughs> end up starting. Um, yeah. Even though yeah, yeah, he probably could have started a couple times. So, yeah, that's my, my thought on it. It's probably going to end up AOC. Yeah, I, yeah, I, I think, think for, for, for by the second preseason game, we'll kind of figure out and find out who that because I really don't see it uh, us making the 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 choice in the in the third and last pre season game um so, yeah so I think it'll be all done and um settled by the second preseason game for sure yeah I that's what I'm hoping for okay so let's talk about defense a little bit here uh, we got a Palomao has been balling out reports are coming out he's doing really good uh, nice. Corey and Bennett has really started to show up in year two of his career. Again, this is all just practice. It is not a real live game. We're going to have a lot more to talk about in September than we do right now. However, I think it's very important to note that our secondary is looking pretty nasty and Jack Jones returning kickoffs. Apparently he returned one to the house last night. To the house. Yep. To the house. Yeah, man. that's gonna be. Yeah. I mean, is are we looking at a new Deion Sanders here? Without look, he doesn't oh, have the oh, speed. Oh. I'm not saying he's as fast as him. I'm talking about instinctual playmaker ability type Deion Sanders without the speed. Mm-hmm. He has he is fast. Though. Jack Jones is fast. One on one. That's what I'll give him. Possibly. Say that uh, again. Asante Samuel. Asante Mike. Samuel is a good comp. Yeah, that's fine. a good comp. Uh, yeah. I want to see him go all the way out, though, and just be like, 
<laughs> be like prime time, man. Go I mean, be like gonna, prime time. Do my high step or whatever, and or look at a dude, that kind of stuff. So some of that, but I mean, Sante has some some sauce on on his game too. So don't don't sleep. So yeah, I yeah, think yeah. Uh, Dion is a uh, just just different. I don't. Yeah. yeah, man. I, I think Dion is a one on one, you know, type uh player and yeah. I don't think we'll have another prime time, you know, soon. Um and, and I'm happy that uh Jack Jones, you know, is um handling some kick returns and he's taking it back to the house, but B. Um yeah. and this is just me. I don't I hope that they don't make that like a ongoing consistent thing you know because i don't really don't want them doing that you know going to the regular season because i don't want him to get hurt and because he's a big part of our defense man and i i just don't want him to get injured i do understand i i get that part of it i think though however if it was the old school kickoff where you literally have guys flying at top speed at your face Yeah, Yeah. that'd be a lot more worrying. The way the kickoff is now, though, these guys aren't getting up to speed before Mm -hmm. they hit whoever the the kick returner is. So I'm not Mm -hmm. as worried about him getting an injury from doing kickoffs. Um, But, man, if if we can start scoring touchdowns off of kickoffs because Jack Jones is just – that instinctual of a guy when he's around the football that he knows where to go to, to get that open lane. So but, he was a uh, he was all conference receiver um, for Poly High, um, you know, in my 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 home city. Um, so he was actually really dangerous as a high school player um, with the ball in his hands. He concentrated uh, at um, at cornerback probably because he's better better there and makes more money. But uh, you know, it's a smaller guy. But yeah, he's definitely. A guy who you know gets his hands on the ball, he can do some things. He's very natural with that, so um, not surprising to me. Big Jack Kenna brings up a good um, a good point is maybe having well, Lauby is probably going to be on special teams, uh, possibly punt returner. Um, I don't know that Trey Tucker. Um, I mean, has he ever played kick returner, punt returner? He's like returned. Has he? Okay. Yeah, I mean, not. he would he would be fantastic just due to his yeah. speed, and and yeah. he's shifty, right? Um, mm-hmm. But it's it's going to be interesting to see how the new kickoff pans out. What I seen in the Hall of Fame game was not impressive. It was boring. Um, it didn't look like it was going to be much. Yeah. But we'll have to see when the regular season comes. Yeah. Games are on the line. Play, guys are playing harder. Uh, you got first stringers, special teamers out there. We'll we'll see how it's going to pan out. It's going to be interesting. Talking about things panning out, uh, we are now 23 minutes into this live stream. We are almost ready to give away this pair of tickets to the August Whoa. 20th open practice. Come hang out with me. Come hang out with uh, Raider Nation Hotspot down there in Vegas on August 20th. Go to the open practice with us. We'll try and get you down there to get you some autographs with players, stuff like that. I have some connections down there. No promises on the on the autographs, but I'll do my best. Um, we're about to give the giveaway. Now, you guys have known, those of you guys who have signed Sweet. up at blackbrainofficial.com and entered in to the newsletter, you guys are automatically entered. However, the rule is, you had to come to this live and be in the live and drop a comment in the live to let me know that you're in the live stream and that you are alive. <laughs> so I, I don't want to see dead people. Okay. <laughs> At this point right now, only Art Raider has commented that he signed up. And I know okay. he did. Well, that was easy. Right. All right, guys. Thanks for coming. Uh, so you guys have a few minutes left. If you signed up, you have to comment in the comment section and tell me Raider D I signed up and put your name in there. Okay. A few Make minutes you guys before I give this away. Guys. If I mean, right now, figured, our, our Raiders all by himself. I, I just figured out why Raider Ryan is so awesome. He was born in San Jose, just like me. So. Hey, San Jose, stand up right here, oh, yeah, baby. Yeah. It's San Jose. <laughs> <laughs> Got to represent. Salute. 
<laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. That's right. There's magic. Magic in them hills. Yeah. OC Raider says, how do I <laughs> sign up? I just hopped on. <laughs> okay, I'll, OC Raider, this is how you're going to do it. I'm gonna give you. I'm gonna give you one shot, even though you're actually late to the game. <laughs> you have to go to this QR code or the link that is now in there. You have to sign up for the newsletter. That's gonna enter your email to the BlackRainOfficial.com newsletter. Go do that right now, and I will check on it here in a few minutes, and I'll put you in the drawing. There you go. Best of luck to you. Best of luck. Yes. Strong anybody else money. anybody else you're only going to have a couple of minutes so you got to hit this qr code or the link down in the description go sign up for the newsletter right away yeah hit that hit that qr code real quick and you can just be in the uh, drawing man that's all you got to do it'll populate and uh i will see your email as soon as it goes in there Let me get you in. Now, you have to be available in Vegas August 20th. Don't sign up if you're not going to be able to attend uh, because that would be a big bummer. It's two tickets. So you you you're, bring your, your wife, bring your um, kid, whatever you want to bring, your brother, your best friend, your pops, whatever. Uh, it oh, is yeah. two tickets yeah. that we are going to be giving away. Greater, Greater Scorpio 562 says he did it. He uh, registered. So let's see. That's three. Okay. Where are we the at? QR code uh, on the screen is the link. Follow the QR code. Yeah. See right here. Hold on. What is it not in the description? Let me put it in there. That's right. There. It's I'm putting the it right there. Bang. You just make sure it's in the description too. Is it? Oh, no, I did not yep. put it in the description here. Let me put that in there real quick. So, bam. Save. Uploaded. Good to go. Scan okay. the code. Follow the path. Come on over to Black Rain Official. I heard there's a good writer over there. Yep. He is. He, he has some hot takes. Very good writer. Very, very good writer. <laughs> Okay, let's go back there. All right, that's in the description as well as blackrainofficial.com. You can click on it in the description. Um, and then let me do the QR code one more time here. Bam, and then that should usually shows up the link there. I don't know why it's not putting the link in there. That's interesting. It usually does. Uh, but it is in the description now. So you can click on so it in the description. I don't know why it's not in there. So we got uh, Raider Scorpio. Let's see. Raider says he's on his phone trying to do watch the, the stream. So can he get a, a direct link or something? Yeah, it's in the description now. Okay. So there's a direct link for you. Yep. Okay, let me see. So we've got Scorpio now. I know somebody else just signed up. Uh, so that Scorpio. So we got Art Raiders, we got Scorpio, we've got OC Raider. Uh, OC Raider, did you get it? Okay, you're in. He says I'm nice. in here. Is Jack trying to get in there? Or? Yep, okay, I see. We got two guys that just came in, so there's two more on here. But you gotta gotta drop the comment and let me know that you're in. I know OC Raider is in. Who else we got? Who else is it live in the chat right now? If you've signed up for the tickets to enter the drawing, which we're gonna do here in a little bit. Right now I've got three people who've who've confirmed that they are in the live stream. OC Raider, Scorpio, Art Raider. You three guys are in right now. 
Anybody else? I know somebody else just just signed up. Can't wait if you guys but I don't, don't see try. them in the chat. I don't see you in the chat. I only have OC Raider, Art Raider, and Scorpio. Anybody else? Raider Scorpio 562, right? I should put that Raider Scorpio on. Okay. Now confirm, all three of you guys who have confirmed that you are here, you can attend August 20th. Um, just want to make sure that you're able to do it. Yeah, I know. Art Raider was like, dang it, man. I was in there all by myself. I was in there all by myself. Nobody else showed up. Uh, All right. So got a a few more minutes. We're going to hang out just for a few more minutes before we do the drawing. Um, Predictions. One of my favorite things. Predictions for the Raiders. SoFi Stadium week one with Herbert in a boot. He plays. He's hurt. He has that plantar fasciitis foot injury. Okay. Yes. I'll save my prediction for last. We'll go with the Amigo in the middle first. Western Conference. How do you think week one against the Chargers is going to work? Are we going to repeat the 63-21 blowout, or will something else happen? We're gonna definitely going to get a win. That's for sure. Unfortunately, I don't think it's going to be a 63-point blowout. But um, I definitely see us winning by um, – I can see us winning by at least two touchdowns. But for sure, um, we're going to get that game for, for sure. I can't even think of – who their backup is right now, just in case if Herbert is that hurt, you know? So, um, but I, I, I just think we, we got that game in the bag. Um, it's Harbaugh's first game. He's still trying to work out all the kinks and all that. And um, I think we got it. Nice. Yeah. Hot spot. Um, yeah. I mean, I, I'm going to predict a score or something like uh, 35 to three. Nice. Tomorrow. Um, and that's just because they're gonna they're gonna slow down the game and be all har harbally and stuff. Harbally, um, I like that. Yeah, <laughs> run, 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 run. Um, so yeah, a lot of to try to you know we're gonna be doing the same kind of stuff. So I, I expect one defensive score or at least a turnover that gives us a short field. So yeah, I, they're not gonna score many points, um, Herbert or not, because this is new for them. And without Herbert, it's, it's just going to be impossible. He's going to be like rushing himself back after no preseason. So at best it's a compromised Herbert. So yeah, 35, three. Um, and I expect uh, Zeus to, to be the story at the end of the, uh, that game about how, how he looks running over people. So, yeah. Okay. So before I give my prediction on this, we have three people have verified they're here. Three mm. right now. These three are going mm. into the hat for the drawing here soon. If you have signed up at blackrainofficial.com for the newsletter over the past couple of days and you are live right now, in order to get in the drawing, you just need to hit us up in the comments right now. Don't have to do a super chat or nothing like that. Just put in the comment that you signed up and are present. Let me know right now because we're going to be doing it. I mean, there's only a few minutes left here. Do it. Just coming, just the stadium itself is an experience, guys. Like yeah. seriously, like like standing next to Al Davis's torch, right? Like stuff, it's real, right? And then on top of that, the players will be just like there. Yeah, yeah. All right, and have you confirmed? Are we going to be at the practice field, or will we be in Allegiant because of the heat? Uh, it's going to be in Allegiant. So Allegiant has a special roof. Um, so. No, no worry about the temperature inside of Legion. It could be 140 outside, and it'd still be like jacket weather inside the stadium. Um, I was hoping, you know, but uh, yeah, probably not. It's gonna, nice. it's gonna stay there right at Legion. So, and it's awesome. So, 
you know, it's probably better for people who haven't been there. I haven't had a chance to walk around the practice facility. So, you know, um, but Allegiant is, a uh, it's, it's special. Yeah. So you guys, will, you'll, you'll love that. And I know it pretty well. So I'm sure you guys are. Mm -hmm. You see, there's, there's nothing in the hat. There's no, the hat is going to be filled soon. Nothing in the hat. So we got, we got some people going in the hat. Got OC Raider in there. Raider Scorpio, you're in there. Art Raider, you're in there. Anybody else that is present right now, if you signed up for these tickets, you want to go to the open practice with me, the Raider D, and my boy Raider Nation Hotspot, Hot Beavers, you got to drop the comment right now and let me know that you guys already signed up in the blackrainofficial.com. This is your last chance. I'm going to give my prediction. And after my prediction for the first game of the season, that's it. We're going to do the drawing. So set that right there for a second. Now, <clears throat> here's how I'm feeling about it, guys. Justin Herbert, if he plays, he's going to be hobbled. He's also going to be forced to hand the ball off in an, a, a whole bunch of times. They're going to run, 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 run. And I think they're going to run straight into Max Crosby's arms, Christian Wilkins' arms, um, Tyree Wilson's arms, Malcolm Coons, Butler, and Jenkins when they're rotating in. I think that I think we run the score up nasty on them. Oh wow. Okay. We were going for 70 according to AP. We just ran out of time. If the offense is firing on all cylinders and the defense is handling business, Justin Herbert's not able to sustain drives. I think we put up 70. Now how much Mm. garbage points the Chargers are going to put up doesn't matter. They can put up 40, doesn't matter. I think we're going to try and go in there and make a statement for the entire NFL because the entire offseason we have been utterly disrespected to the point of being said that we're the worst team in the NFL despite the fact that the Carolina Panthers – we're the worst team last year and didn't get much better whatsoever this year at right. all. In fact, I would say that their defense got worse. So I think mm. the Raiders are going to go in there. I think they're going to try and make a statement game out of it and mm. really just handle business. Wow. Yeah. So speaking of business, and handling here's, what, it. here's what's about to happen. Can we get a drum roll, please? We are officially going to draw one name out of this hat. There's three names in there. One name out of this hat, and it's going to decide all. Okay? And let me turn this off here so I don't hide my, my co-host. Bam. All right. So you guys can see the names are in there. I haven't done anything to them. They're still in there. All right. Can I get a drum roll, please? Hot Beavers. Who's it going to be? OC Raider. Art, I am so sorry, brother. I know you were the first one in here. But OC Raider, you just OC. won yourself the tickets, brother. Uh, and, and he had just came in too. Like, Congratulations! Good times. Just can't, just was able to get in last minute and and get in there. Um, right Raider on, Scorpio, son. apologies, brother. Don't worry, we've got more giveaways. In fact, we have a consolation giveaway just for the two of you. Uh, you guys are both getting free t-shirts nice. from the raider d so we're going to be sending you guys out uh an email nice. we ju we're just going to have to get your address and stuff so you're going to get a free t-shirt we just need to know your size um oc raider you're going to be coming in fact i am about to send you an email right now please open up right. your email and nice. accept it because 
I want you to come up here live with us. And let's see. It is uh, Adriano Martinez, correct, OC? <laughs> oh my gosh man raider scorpio you're breaking my heart now <laughs> oh, man. i wish i had more tickets brother i wish i had more tickets to give away man i am i feel terrible right now ah uh, i'm so oh, sorry dodgers, dodgers raider, raider just missed it too yeah. oh my too gosh late. you're oh, late bro oh. you're late Ouch. Ah. Uh, I'm sorry, guys. OC Raider, man, it was just his day. It was his day. OC Raider, what what was your? Uh, let me let me check back here. Um, let me see. What was his name again? Where are you at, OC? Where is he at? Where is he at? Joke of the day. Uh, Radio Scorpio. That's nice. <laughs> Great, <laughs> Great, Great timing. Where? So OC Raider. I know he put his name in the chats. So, uh, let's see. Let's see. Where's he at? Where's he at? Where's he at? OC Raider. Oh, yeah. Adriano Martinez. Okay. OC, I'm about to send you this email here. In just a second. So, bam. You're going to get it from our parent company, Kaleidoclip. Nice. Congratulations. Dun, dun. And. All right. So, in this email, there is a link to this stream. So, you're going to come and join us live for the rest of the stream brother nice sweet okay email is sent you should have the link in your email now so just uh click on the on that link and it'll just have you put in your name you'll come up here onto the live stream with me western conference and raider nation hotspot congratulations to oc raider and to the two constellation guys uh, don't trip. We're going to send you out an email and you guys are going to be getting a t-shirt in the mail. Just need to know what size do you guys wear? Nice. Um, art, art Raider, what size do you wear? Let me know down there in the comments below. Brader Ryan. Uh, Ryan wants to join. Yeah, absolutely. You can join, brother. Yeah. Uh, let me uh, let me shoot you a link. The legend. And if you guys don't know, this is like Raider Ryan is the one who gave us these tickets so that we could do this. Yeah, you made this possible. Shout just out to Raider Ryan. Respect, man. Yes, absolutely. Okay, Ray Ryan, you got the. You should get the email right now. Uh, Art Raider, we don't have two X. However, these shirts are bigger than normal, so I'm going to send you an XL. Yeah. And it should fit you just fine. I'm 220 pounds. I wear an L, in in the the Raider D podcast uh, Max Crosby T-shirt. Because I had them man with the manufacturer when we were dealing with them, we had them make them bigger because I always feel like I normally wear a one X, but then you'll get a one X and it'll be too small. I didn't want that. The American audience were bigger than what the tag says usually. So I had these made one size bigger, but then labeled the smaller. So one X should work for you just fine, brother. Uh and then Raider Scorpio, what size do you wear, brother? Let me know in the comments below. Uh, OC Raider, did you get the email?
Let me know. I haven't heard from OC Raider since he won the tickets. <laughs> he, he immediately Take ran to the run. quickest the quickest place to go celebrate. <laughs> uh Dodgers Raider says Wi Fi gonna be rare in Chiefs Raiders pretty soon. Yeah, it's not not uh not out of the realm of possibilities with that guy. Okay, well, his favorite coach is there, so yeah, OC, come join the, the live. Just click on the link and pop in. Okay, he's logging in right now, everybody. Nice. We got OC Raider coming up. Raider Ryan, did you get your email with the link? Uh, Raider C Dub says he wears a forty eight. I, I don't know what the forty eight means. I think he means jersey size. Yeah, he's just saying like extra large. All right, just waiting for uh today's winner, OC Raider, winner of the two tickets to come hang out with me, Raider Nation Hotspot. Consolation prize though was to the guys who did get entered in time, and that is Raider Scorpio and Art Raider. So we're going to be sending them out Max Crosby dry fit T-shirts, special edition Raider D podcast signed uh, just for you guys. Just need to know um, Raider Scorpio. I know Art Raiders. Raider Scorpio, what's your – just tell me the first part of your email so that we can get you an email for that T-shirt for you. If you're still here, I know his kids were crying because he didn't win. <laughs> so he may be he may be yeah, taking like, them out for ice cream right now and, and yeah, left the stream. Got to do something for those kids. Sorry. Sad, sad. Brandon Fro- uh, Brando Foster has the, I, I don't know what face that is. It's like the crying, like shock face or something. Oh, he, he he must have been late. Yeah, he was late, brother. You was late, bro. <laughs> we already uh-huh. did the giveaway, man. Uh-huh. Remember, I told you guys you got you had to be in from the beginning of the stream because I wasn't going to tell anybody when uh, when I was here. In fact, Art Raider almost won it outright because nobody else had had been here. If I'd given it away five minutes earlier, Art would have been the winner. Um, That's true. Mm-hmm. But I actually, I kind of always plan to give it away right after the half hour mark. Uh, Brando says, ah, there we go. OC <laughs> Raider in the house. Hey, what up, um, guys? What's going on, OC? Congratulations, bro. Coming to hang out with the boys. Yeah, yeah. man. Be awesome. I was having some technical difficulties. Couldn't get my email reset, so I just jumped on my phone. Oh, you're good. You're good. So, all right, OC, tell us nice. about yourself, where you're from, how long you've been a Raiders fan, and how excited are you to go down to this practice this month? Man, so 06, I started uh, started being a fan of the Raiders. Uh, my boy Justin got me got me hooked. So I've been I've been a fan for about 20 years now, and been through been through the worst of it. You know, it's been a rough 20 years. So yeah. um, I'm over here in California in OC, uh, Orange County. And uh, yeah, I'm stoked, dude. Nice. I've, I've been wanting to go. I haven't been to Allegiant yet. I haven't been to Las Vegas game yet. So this is the next best thing. Yeah. I mean, nice. you know, in some ways it's actually better because after the practice, they usually let everybody go down there, shake hands with the guys, get autographs, stuff like that, which is really hard to do after a game. So uh, for me, I, I think the practices are um, – the games are great, but the practices is a little bit more interpersonal, right? Um, so, and you got, you get to see these guys a little bit more up close and, and personal, and that's a lot of fun, but of course you're going to be hanging out with a couple of cool guys. Uh, obviously Raider nation hotspot being the coolest. Well, actually I'll say Raider nation hotspot is the second coolest because his pops is the coolest. So, oh, o- man, so on, OG, <laughs> OG Raider beavers is also going to be there. His pops will be there. He'll yeah. be there. I'll be there. 
Uh, we got a lot of fun stuff going on. You're going to get a T-shirt from me, the Raider D, our very own Max Crosby T-shirt, signed Raider D podcast. Um, so that will be waiting for you when we get we'll all get together. Um, so you entered, you entered in. When, when um, Did you hear about the inner for it just as you came on right now? Yeah, like I, my my wife's pregnant. She's taking a nap. My daughter finally took a nap along with her, and I was like, "What's what's going on?" And I just opened up YouTube and I saw you live streaming, and I was like, "What's going on?" And then you like literally like for a chance to win practice tickets, nice the link, and I was like, "Wait, what? What?" Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> right time, right place, I guess. Yeah, yeah. for sure. You got the. You got the daddy magic on your side. That's what happened. Right? Yeah, so, you know, it's taking care of business today. I got, I got some favor, yeah. and I, and I just yeah. subscribed to your channel yeah. probably less than a month ago, Raider D. Nice. Like I'm, I'm a new time nice. follower, so it's uh, nice. it's my lucky weekend. I think I'm gonna go buy some lotto tickets. Good, good, uh, <laughs> good uh, yeah, time to be joining the Raider D, man, for sure. I mean, and again, we're waiting on Raider Ryan uh, to log in. Um, yeah. Let me know, Raider Ryan. Did you did you get your email? So Raider Ryan actually is the one who got the tickets and then donated them to the channel so that we could do this whole thing. Uh, cause he's not able to attend. Unfortunately. Um, I actually tried to get the tickets and mine just kept freezing. I couldn't get it to, to move. I don't know what was going on. If I was just logged on at the wrong time or whatever. Um, so I was trying to go through my contacts at the Raiders organization. Unfortunately, the, the media department of the Raiders organization is a little bit upset with me right now. Um, so they're not cooperating. <laughs> <laughs> because <laughs> I interview players without their permission and they don't like that. So uh, <laughs> there's nothing that says that a player has to get the, uh, the organization's permission to go on a podcast. But uh, I guess they're, they're, they're trying to make sure that there's no drama, but we run our podcast very professional. And so we would never put the players in a, a bad position, but I'm you a little bit like a common doll or anything. Yeah. I'm kind of in the dog house with them right now because <laughs> They told me I, I should get their permission first. Um, and then I, I tried to work with them because we did Trey Taylor and they were mad about that because I didn't ask them. And then I tried to work with them. They weren't responding. So I said to hell with it. And we brought on Wu Governor. <laughs> so now they're really <laughs> upset. I'm like, well, you're the one who didn't respond. I was happy to work with you guys, but you didn't respond. So uh raider ryan i like i'd given up all hope of going to one of these practices we had planned on doing the whole thing me and hot beavers had talked about it because he's in vegas i'm up in utah and uh lo and behold uh raider ryan was just like bro i got these four tickets i'm giving them to you you know you give them away go down do the do some filming whatever yeah. and i was like man that's cool so yeah. raider ryan as soon as he gets on here uh you got to meet him. This is, this is all because of him. He's such an awesome dude. Yeah, um, absolutely. love that guy. Been with the, yeah, the channel cool from guy. the very beginning. Cool guy. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, oh, see, what do you think? Uh, what do you think about the Raiders right now? Do you think for the first time in a while, we got a really good team? How are you feeling? Yeah, I think, I don't even know what I'm watching on defense. Honestly, the second half of the season, you know, I was like, what is, what is this, you know? And, <laughs> and yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm really stoked for this season because I, I like how AP is just like a leader of men and, and, you know, he, he, he does what he says. He, he lives it. Like it couldn't, like, you, I don't think just any head coach could be a Raider head coach. And like, I don't think we've ever had one like, like, like this since like, Madden or or early early 2000s John Gruden you know what I mean like this is this is a legit head coach for us and yeah I can't wait to see Wilkins and Crosby and Koontz eat man I just I want to see I want to see I want to see them crumble all yeah. these quarterbacks in the AFC West you know what I mean Herbert yeah. Knicks I know that they're gonna I mean they're gonna be eating Knicks all day but I want to see them I want to see them get Herbert and, and Mahomes you know what I mean I really want to see it yeah, for intimidation, sure. intimidation. Yeah, it's bad. Yeah, that's right. That D line scares people. Yeah, you know? and that's that's what yeah. we need. The quarterback must go down. He must go down hard. And that's hard. What, that's what's happening. <laughs> that's what's happening. So yeah, yeah. I mean, Crosby is the start of it, and then you got Coons and Wilkins, and yeah, I think we're gonna see um, some stuff. I mean, even Adam Butler is just like. Mauling people last year, I mean, it's underrated. Mm -hmm. um, put right him back, 
So did you see what he said? Like he doesn't want to be a third down guy anymore. Like he I mean, wants to, like he wants more reps, right? Listen, and he's been he's been doing really good. He, yeah, so he's far. absolutely he's a talented guy. You know, it's not like he's he's uh, you know some kind of has been or also ran or whatever. He he has real talent, real size, you know, and explosiveness. And so if he continues to do that rep after rep, it could stay in a good enough shape to to give us those reps. That's huge, man, because he's a, he's a he's a monster. For sure. Um, Raider Scorpio, what size shirt do you wear, my brother? Let me know in the comments what size you wear. Um, we yeah. do got to make an order for you. Uh-oh. We lost oh, OC. Yeah, come on back. OC, Jack. just log back in, bro. Yeah. Jack makes a good point. He says best defense uh, since 83 in the 2002 teams. Yeah, I, I think so. Yeah. Um. Yeah. So, did you see, uh, bro? Did you see A Train's uh, ten dollars super chat? It's aimed at you. I did. I did. Thank you, A Train. He 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 knows why. He owes me a drink. Um, from a <laughs> from a bad <laughs> drink. Some may tea. or may not have involved you, Rarity, but we won't talk about it. Drink drink some tea, bro. Drink tea. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. That's yeah. Tea. Tea. Yeah. It's PG. This is a PG show. <laughs> <laughs> um okay raider scorpio xl got you bro got you xl for my boy raider scorpio um please go buy the kids some ice cream make them feel better <laughs> like we're gonna have we're gonna have more of these type of situations hopefully as the season progresses we can get into some more um of these giveaways and stuff so stay tuned guys because you're definitely going to want to not miss out on those things. If you're brand new to the channel, make sure that you hit that subscribe button uh, because it's very important that you get notified when we do these type of giveaways. And we're going to be doing more giveaways, especially as we get more sponsors of the show. Uh, and there's Raider Ryan. There's the man on, of the hour. Thank you, salute, Nation. Salute How you doing, you, man? Brother. Good. Salute to you, Dude. brother. Thank you, Good thank you. you. I just got back from the store. I'm glad to see somebody won the tickets. <laughs> yes, sir. OC Raider, man. He just hopped in right at the last minute. <laughs> right last on. Second. Like it was his oh, day. I see Art's going to be pissed off. He was the only one on the thing for a minute. <laughs> <laughs> he was. <laughs> like it was like Art was like feeling like, man, oh, it's, man. It's, a, it's a wrap. Yes, Art, I do have your email, brother. So uh, we'll we're gonna shoot you an email. We got to make you an order, and then we'll send you out the uh, the t shirt. Oh. We just we'll have to get your address and stuff uh, so that we can fill out a uh, order card for you. And you see, Red Ryan's wearing his shirt right now, sporting it, representing I love baby. It. Yeah. I got two of them. Man. They fit great, man. Yep. Nice. So Did we lose them again. We lost yeah. OC again. I think he's having oh. connection issues. Yeah, he said he's having some issues. So. Yeah, there uh, we go. He's back. My, my yeah. wife, my wife woke up and she's like, "Where are you?" And I just, <laughs> she's like, "What?" I'm winning what? tickets, babe. That's <laughs> where I am. You kidding me? Uh, yeah, so so just, speaking I, of I that, just so, that link right now, so she yeah, can, so you she got can, like, verify. You got two, um, right. two tickets coming. Yep. So are you you're bringing wifey or who are you bringing oh, with yeah. you? She's a fan too. I converted her like two years ago. So nice, nice. Yeah, we're nice. gonna be we're gonna be nice. repping couples sure. that raider together, <laughs> stay yep. together, baby. Right. I did the I did the same thing, man. My wife's coming. She's my she's my camera woman, uh, and microphone specialist. So she'll be doing all the recording and stuff. But uh, my wife is originally from Singapore. She never watched American football before. Then she yeah. gets married to me. And I'm like, you know, it's this is a family tradition. We got to we got to get you into this. And I, I really didn't expect much, man. And she's like, sometimes she goes harder than I do now. Like she'll be like, the, like we'll get we'll break off a run. Yeah. I remember like last year, Josh Jacobs broke off a, a, a nice, nice little run. And she's just screaming like, go, go, go. I'm like, whoa, whoa. <laughs> it was 10 yards. <laughs> Yeah, like my mom. That's like my mom. She's a huge fan. Mom will be there too at practice, man. She is a huge Raider fan. Probably forgot more about the Raiders than a lot of people even know. 
And uh, <laughs> yeah, her, her screaming at long runs or, or big plays is like a part of my uh, my my upbringing and, and Raiderdom. So shout out to moms out there. Love you too. So yeah, see, yeah. unfortunately for me, I don't have that same luck. I have a fiance that's diehard Niners. So, but slowly I can see her coming over because she's like. You have all this Raiders content. Where's all my content? I'm like, there's no such thing as Niners content because they like Raiders fans. Raiders fans are the only ones in the world like this, you know? Yep. yep. And she searches awesome. everywhere and she finds a couple, but she's like, these yeah. guys are nothing like what you watch. I'm like, it's facts, you know? Yeah. Uh, and speaking so of that, me... over the dark side in the town. <laughs> Oh, see, let me get uh, – so we have large and extra large. The shirt is the one that you see. I'm sure you've seen me wearing it before as well. Uh, what size are you? XL. XL? Okay, I got you. XL. And then L for the wifey? Uh, she probably she – probably well, she's pregnant. So, yeah, let's do L just in case. Well, yeah, I'm my XL – I weigh about 240, brother, and this thing is a little baggy on me. I like my shirts baggy, though, but it, yeah. it's yeah. – these things feel great, man. Yeah, and then you like got the XL, right, Ryan? I got the XL, yeah. Yeah. I'm 240 and I wear the L. So, yeah, it's, see, it's I, I, like, I, I like mine a little baggy, but it's, yeah, it's, they're great shirts, man. She's probably yeah. a medium. I, I have a medium. She's probably close to a medium. Yeah, yeah okay. I, I would, yeah. So I'm gonna well we'll bring we're gonna bring down a bunch of shirts because uh, we're gonna be doing giveaways on the strip and stuff like that too. So. Man, I bet she's uh, downstairs watching us right now. Like, I can't believe this fool's on uh, YouTube and he won some <laughs> tickets. Like, I wish <laughs> I was able to see you right now, but yeah. hopefully yeah. my link. <laughs> yeah. Nice. And I yeah, hear that the they're supposed to be doing a uh... podcast, too. There's, like, all kinds of cherries being popped right now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Yeah, I hear what they're supposed that? to be giving away. They're supposed to be picking out certain seats from the – Coliseum of practices to bring people down on the field too. So, Man. shit, yeah. who knows? Yeah, I got I got some connections with some players down there. I let them know that we're going to be there. So, um, hopefully, we can get a little bit more of a VIP type situation going for you guys, so that you can get up there and meet them and stuff. Um, I mean, I've already met them and stuff, and then we're going to be hopefully doing some interviews in person down there as well. Obviously. Me and uh, Hotspot will be doing some live podcasting while, while, while we're down there as well. And then uh, hopefully have some, some players sit down and, and do some fun interviews. So the whole, the whole thing is like it all came together. Uh, again, as I was telling it the story earlier, where I was out, I had to take my wife out to lunch, and I got the email notification to get the tickets uh, from the Raiders. And so I went on to do it. And there was like eight, 900 people ahead of me. I was like, okay, well, we'll, we'll see what happens. And it just kept freezing. And it wouldn't, it wouldn't move. It, it just kept, it like got stuck. And I tried it a couple of different times and it just wasn't working. I was like, okay, it's, I don't know if it, their system's down, it's frozen, whatever. I kind of gave up on it. I was like, I'll just, I'll just contact the media team over there at the Raiders and see if we can just get some special tickets set up. And then, like I said, they're ignoring me because they're mad because I interview players without their permission. Give them some time. They'll get over it or they won't. I don't know. I'll still keep doing what I do. <laughs> I don't care. Um, but then Raider Ryan just hits me up the other night and he's like, hey, bro, I got these four tickets. I can't attend. I'm giving them to you. Do what you got to do with them. And I was like, man, God is great. This is so amazing because I wasn't expecting that. Me and yeah. me and Hotspot had been talking about setting this up because he's down there in Vegas setting this up and, and us doing a, a show down there and putting everything together. It was going to be a lot of fun. Yeah. And it just didn't look, plus I had some health issues last uh, month that I'm still recovering from. And so it, it was, it sucked, man, because we weren't going to be able to get it done. And then Ritter Ryan's like, boom, here you go. So Ryan. God works in mysterious <laughs> ways. We're going to Vegas. We're going to record. It's going to be a lot of oh, fun. Yeah. On. And you know what, brother? I remember you yeah. saying that, that you weren't able to get the tickets and you've been trying to get out to Vegas. And my whole thing th went through it. I was on a trip. And when I first got on, it was like 8,000 people on wait in line. So then I, <laughs> and then I kept checking in, checking in. And then I forgot about it. And next thing you know, it had set me off and I had to go signed up again. So I did it again. And somehow I ended up checking at the right time. It was 50 left. And next thing you know, they're sending me an email for the ticket. So I thought of you as soon as because some work stuff came up. 
my boss quit, so I get promotion that way. And I can't fuck up. That's my first big job is on that weekend. So I yeah, I passed it on to somebody that could do something with it and hopefully help your channel out a little bit as well, too. Well, like I, like I told you, uh, Ryan, the, the thing is, as this channel is taking off like crazy, um, we just passed 2 million views on the channel uh, this, right this past Congratulations. weekend, Congrats. which is nuts. And I mean, we started out, I had a couple hundred yeah, subscribers. Know. All of a sudden, I had a thousand, then I, I had 2,000. Uh, now we're almost at 8,000, probably going to hit 10,000 somewhere uh, by the end of the month, maybe next month. Probably 30 to 40,000 by the end of the season, possibly 60,000, depending on the growth. Like it comes in spurts. Like I picked up, you know, uh, 1,200 subscribers in the past couple of weeks. Um, but I had two months where I only picked up 200 subscribers. So YouTube's weird with that. But as the channel grows, we're, we're getting a lot more notice from uh, advertisers. We're getting more notice from players, raiders, um, stuff like that. As the channel grows, we're going to get more of these opportunities. So I've, I've already been planning, bro, that as soon as we're able to make it happen with your schedule, my schedule, Raiders practice, Raiders game, something. We're going to hook up, Ryan. We're going to hook up for sure. For sure, brother. Got to get you down here. There's a couple mm -hmm. of there's a couple of the OG supporters of the channel who have been with me from the very beginning. You're one of them. The the two gentlemen to my left or right, whatever that is. That way, <laughs> that note that way have been with me from the very beginning. Um Well, you know, thank you, Danny D. <laughs> there you go with that there you go with that i had to uh, throw that one in that was, yeah. it was hilarious man my boy a train <laughs> big shout out to a train he's been with the show from the very beginning showing up big support like with these super chats as well um so got we're gonna try and definitely get the whole original crew together um if if not this year definitely next year but hopefully this year we can get some stuff uh all put together yeah. And it's it's just maybe been we'll have a man. Super Bowl party when we go. Uh, yeah. That would be yeah. nice. That would be Let's nice. I think the Raiders yeah. got the team. Boy, I'll show y'all Vegas if we have a Super Bowl party. Yeah, <laughs> shoot for the moon, baby. That's what we do. <laughs> That'll be Vegas. Look, so, man, it, yeah. it's one of those things where things can just change from one season to the next. It, it can definitely happen. Look at the Houston, Texans. yeah, they turned it around in one year. Detroit's turned yep. it around. I think the Raiders turned it around this year. OC, is your wife Alexis? Yeah. Yep. She she's in the chat. Oh, okay. Oh, she in the chat? <laughs> Told you I was in line. I'm not talking about uh, yeah. I'm, I'm putting her on the board. I'm putting her on blast right now. There you go. <laughs> yes. You guys are coming to hang out yeah. with us, man. I like how she's like, we won. <laughs> right? <laughs> Raiders. Nice. Raiders. Nice. If she wasn't committed, she's going to be 100,000% 100, committed now. Yes, sir. Oh. Yes, sir. <laughs> Dude, my wife Once is, you go to the game, she's definitely going to be yeah. a 1,000 in. My Dude, wife is, yeah. is so stoked about this trip right now. She's yeah. up there you know, going through all the Airbnbs right now and restaurants <laughs> and everything that we're going to be doing. Oh, I love the tent, man. <laughs> That's I gotta go off on. screen when I smoke. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. Try not to smoke on uh, the show, so I just go back over here. <laughs> <laughs> and if you look, we we multifaceted home. We have the Raiders, the Seahawks, and the Niners. Dang. Uh, I tried to get my boy to be a Raider, but he just is a little Seahawk, and he's as diehard of the Raiders fan. He's diehard a Seahawk fan that I'm a Raiders fan. Yeah. Like today, that kid, we were getting ready to go to the store. He had his chain on and everything. I'm like, oh goodness. <laughs> well, you're you're out it. You're out there in that land. Let's fucking go, Raiders! <laughs> congratulations, Raiders! Yeah, congratulations. We'll see you guys on the Thank you. Thank you guys. Awesome. This is awesome. Yeah. You're welcome. We can't trip. wait to meet you guys and hang out. Oh yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be amazing. 
<laughs> I, I don't even like I, it's probably gonna take me a, another day or two just for this to sink in to be honest with you <laughs> yep get those get those air, airline tickets man and and uh yeah, man. get the hotel and everything lined up man and we're we're doing that right now that, that's literally what my wife is up there doing right now the airline tickets the hotel or the airbnb um the car everything like she's she's putting all that stuff up together right now that's what's so, up. We we we're driving distance because we're over here by Disneyland, so we're just three hours, you know. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Nice. So, I'm, I, so I'm six and nice. a half hours, technically five and a half hours if you just drive nonstop. But it never it never pans out that way. It's usually like seven and a half hours with us to drive from from Salt Lake. Uh, I just hate driving, so I'm I I'm flying. <laughs> <laughs> we're just gonna hop on a little forty five yeah. minute flight. Touchdown and just be like, okay, we're here. Yeah, yeah, it's like a forty-five minute flight yeah. if we took if we took the plane. Yeah, uh, probably spend more time in the airport than we do flying. Yeah, but, two hours and and going through security, forty-five minutes on the plane. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I still rather do that than drive though. <laughs> I might consider it to be honest with you because she's pregnant. I don't even know if she can fly to be honest with you. How lo- how yeah. far along is she? Five, just over five months. She should be able to fly. Yeah. I think the cutoff limits at like seven. Oh, okay. if, yeah, I remember, seven. if I remember right, I think it's seven. I think that she's she's kind of like um, Mr. T from uh, from that one TV show. I'm dating myself, but um, anyway, she doesn't <laughs> like to fly. She doesn't like to fly. She gets she gets all nervous. Oh yeah, the movie. Yeah, the movie, and then there used to be a show back. In the yeah, day. yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, Damn, what is that? The A team. Uh, the A team. Mr. Go. T didn't like, like to fly. Yeah, they would always drug him up. Yeah, basically kidnap him. Yeah, <laughs> I pity the fool who puts me on an airplane. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. I'm not sure if you noticed the banner back there in the tent. That's the one that I brought. I told you I was going to the Seahawk uh, Niners game last year. Right there in the front with this with this banner, Raider Mad Max Crosby for Defensive Player of the Year. Nice. Yeah. Seahawks are like, you know, this is the wrong game. The Raiders fan, I don't give a shit. I got good seats. <laughs> I, you, I, I think uh, Max Crosby wins defensive player this year because he finally has some help on that offensive line. So he's going to be able to just cook. I can't oh, wait to see it. Yeah. Cannot he wait to he see was it. so close so many times last year. And with Christian there now, mm-hmm. that so close isn't going to be there. It's going to yeah. be Max or Christian. Or yeah. somebody else. Yeah. Like like I said uh, on your show before, I think he's going to tear it up. And then um, they will still not give him the, the trophy because they'll say he had too much help. So, that's the go. other – that's the downside, right? Like they'll, they'll, mm-hmm. they'll make an excuse not to give it to him. But I, I don't know. There was so much backlash last year for him not being in the conversation of it and, and at least being close. <laughs> That I think if if he balls out and gets 18, 20 sacks, and they don't give it to him, I, I think that that would just there'd be too much backlash. I think I think at that point they'd have to give it to him, especially if we hit we get in the playoffs and he plays lights out football in the playoffs, which you know he will. Right, as mm-hmm. hard as he goes in practice, as hard as he goes yep. in a regular season game, imagine him in a playoff game. He's going to go super hard. So I think at, at some point oh, they're yeah. going to have to give it to him. Um, I'm excited also to see Max Crosby because, like, you've talked about it. Um, I've talked about it. Mac, Malcolm Kuntz has really progressed from last year throughout the offseason as well. And if he – if he stays on track of the way that he was the second half of the season, this dude might end up with 20 sacks. We yeah. might end up with two guys with at least 18 sacks apiece. Yeah. He was That's uh, nuts. He, he was unblockable down the stretch last year. Um, you know, went back and reviewed the tape. Uh, I just put out a, a little yeah. something on him. Me and you were talking about him the other day. But he is just the bend, man. His bend, the way he closes on quarterbacks, the ball comes out. You know, he's added a bull rush, and like he always had that kind of long arm, stiff arm thing that he would do. He can, he can, he can go inside, outside. He's got a spin move. Like the dude is going to go nuts, and so I'm, I'm really excited just for him because I think, you know, um, 
being where he was drafted for a little while there, people kind of gave up on him. Um, and just when everybody gave up on him, yeah. he showed it, he showed up, and showed out. So, um, probably all the, new, all, all the preparation he does for his body to mm-hmm. come out and have that great season for him, you know, that's that's going to be something different. Now, Max Crosby is on a whole nother level than most of the other guys. He's got our whole team so bought in that he's the captain. I don't know if you guys noticed this, but every interview I watch, our team uses that word super a lot. And that came from Max. I don't know if you realize the West of Max emphasizes things to make him sound better, right? The super good. Super. And everybody super good. on that team in the interview says super when they want to emphasize something now. That's yeah. how that's the kind of leader he is. And I'm sorry I don't mean to yeah. take the show somewhere else, but this was the no, birthday can... boy from last week. Look at this crap that he's wearing. And hey, y'all not the birthday boy, not that, that... shirt. But yeah, okay. man. You, you, <laughs> you don't you're, say hi to the nation. You're growing into hi. a big guy now. <laughs> it's time to he put wanted on... to come say hi, so it's time to put on a, a, a big man shirt though. You gotta get that Raider shirt on. <laughs> we'll convert so you don't man. worry <laughs> yeah I, I try to tell him he, you know what he was born into it too because the entire room where he was getting born in was just set up with raider shit and yeah. he had all raider stuff so up until about yeah. the time he went to school and had friends come back. all seahawk he'll fans come. out here yeah he's, a, he's the prodigal son he'll come back don't worry oh, I, I it's, know. it's the, it, it only it's makes the rebellious sense. phase yeah. Well, you got to think about it. When you became a Seahawk fan yeah. a few years ago, that's where they were doing good, right? And the Raiders shit in the bed. So I, I get it. But yeah. it's back around. times are changing. Yeah. yeah. Times are changing. They are. <laughs> yeah. For the better. Who's their coach again? A new day. Excuse my mouth. <laughs> uh, let's see. So, oh, uh, Art Raider has a good comment. Seahawks had to leave the AFC just to win anything. <laughs> <laughs> you hear that, son? Burn. <laughs> the, the standing burn for all Seahawks fans. I used to old obviously school, man. live up there. And, and, and then, unfortunately for them, the Niners started doing good. <laughs> yeah. 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 Now they can't win anything. Um, but see, I'm hope I'm hoping. I love that Brock Bowers kid. He is amazing. I just hope we don't get to the point where the Niners oh, yeah. got with Debo, where they depended on that thing. You yeah. know, when Debo mm. went out hurt last year for a few games, they were horrible. Mm. I just don't want to get to that point where you depend on a player that much. You know, I, I, I think it. Think, I don't think we will though, because yeah. like you got, you still got Adams, you still got Mayer. You know, surprisingly <laughs> good. You got, you got. We got. Uh, how do you say it? How do you distinguish their names? Mayor and Meyer. Is that what it is? Meyer? <laughs> Mayor, Michael, Michael Mayer. Michael Mayer. Yeah, Michael Mayer. 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 So you still got him. You know, Mayer. you got the wide receiver. We got so many tools. The real question is, QB, who's going to be slinging the rock? You know, I'm, the Aiden, I'm, is it's the Aiden, man. I don't. I'm, I don't think I'm it's about who's slinging the rock. I think it's about how that offensive line gels together to be able to give whoever time back there, you know, and open up the holes for that running game because we're going to be dependent on that running game to get everything else going. So that if our O-line can gel, if we can get those two guys back mm-hmm. healthy, man, I it's good. sky's the limit for us this year if we could stay healthy and our offensive yeah. line could gel together. I'm all in for AOC. Don't get me wrong. I'm not Gardner Minshew. Yeah. I liked him. I've seen what he can do, but I what I don't know what Aiden can do yet. So, and if he does yeah. great, then that's even better for us because he's cheap. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's one of the best great. aspects of Aiden O'Connell is he's on that rookie scale fourth round draft pick. Um, you say bye not, bye Gardner Minshew, and yeah. you know and you're not going to pay him you no know, twenty thirty million next year. So. Yeah. I mean, next, well, next year, so he's on a Gardner Minshew's on a twenty-five million dollar two-year contract, fifteen million guaranteed. So if you uh, kept him for his full contract, he would only cost you twelve and a half million a year, which is nothing for a quarterback. They're literally talking about Brock Purdy making sixty-five million dollars a year, and he's not even an elite quarterback. He's a good game managing quarterback, but not elite. 
Um, <laughs> so the fact that we have Aiden O'Connell and Gardner Minshew at very cheap compared to these these guys that are starters in the NFL right now, that that allows us to add depth that the Raiders have not had the opportunity to have in a long time, which is what makes a good team. You have to have yep. depth, right? Mm-hmm. Um, Western Conference, how are you Absolutely. feeling uh, about the offense as a whole with Aiden O'Connell, uh, with Brock Bowers' addition to the team? Oh, man, well... You know, since draft day, man, I've been, I, I mean, I was fired up with that Brock Bowers pick, man. And um, I just feel like with what, man, with, with what we have now, um, we have so many weapons on offense. And uh, just like how Raider Ryan said, man, like the sky is the absolute um, limit to what we can do and to what we can bring because the defense is going to have to pick their poison because somebody is guaranteed to get open and um i just can't wait man but i see um brock brock bowers um he's a special talent man and um i'm just like i'm just so anxious to to see what he's gonna do and bring for for our offense man so i just can't wait man i'm fired up for it Yeah, me too. Um, I want to see how the twelve man personnel lineup's going to work out with the Raiders' offense. I know yeah. Raider Nation yeah. Hotspot. You've talked a lot about it. Um, yeah. For the people who don't know what a twelve man personnel lineup is, that package, kind of break that down a little bit for people who don't understand yeah. what we're talking about. Yeah. So the the twelve personnel just refers to uh, the two tight end set. Um, so you're going to have a X tight end, Y tight end. Um, one of them is going to be more of your blocking, you know, the, the you know Y types. So that, that's your, that's Mayer, right? And then Bowers is is the move tight end uh, in this offense. Um, so he's going to be, you know, in the slot, out wide, uh, in H back positions. He'll take handoffs sometimes. Um, he will lead block from the slot or H back position on pinnacle sweeps and things like that. Um, if you've seen uh, Green Bay's offense when they had uh, Randall Cobb, um, Randall Cobb played at, uh, that wide tight end position for, you know, uh, even though he wasn't that player, um, just because he was that tough. So he would actually lead block through through the hole and things like that. Um, a, you know, zone scheme with a lot of, of uh, outside zone um, and like pin pull sweeps, traps, um, and that sort of stuff. And then uh, RPOs um, and uh, read option um, to kind of vary um, and take some pressure off the running game. He likes to use uh, you know, screens as um, an extension of the run. And way. he will automatically check. Uh, get, he'll put on like, automatic check to a screen if the defense is in the right alignment. So you'll, you'll see um, more screens than you've probably ever seen. Right? Um, which uh, is going to be on the quarterback to make be smart about how that's done, uh, as opposed to just kind of allowing the defense to bait them into things, right? Um, yeah. So he does uh, prefer to put put some onus on the quarterback to make plays, but it puts the defense in a really big uh, bind because the most popular defense uh, is the nickel, right? Uh, currently, pretty much that's what seventy percent of uh, defensive snaps are in the nickel uh, in the NFL. So when you play us, you really are forced to, to not play very much nickel uh, because a, a double tight is a, it's a, a run friendly set. You have to respect the run, um, especially mm-hmm. because both the tight ends can actually block. So if you put a nickel back in, then we may just run it down your throat, right? You know, Zeus is just like that. He'll run a dude over and not even think about it. And then, so our line is nasty big guys, they want to run, right? And so now you're put in this position where you maybe you got to go heavier, you've got to use a big safety or something to try to split the middle. Do you have that in your lineup? Are you forced to just put a traditional lineup out there against our our guys? And then we just spread Bowers out against your linebacker and he's toast, right? So there's yeah. a lot you put a defense in just because 
there's not a lot of teams that can do what we can do with two tight ends. So it's, it's going to be fun to watch. So OIC just uh, dropped a really good comment. If Herbert's hurt and doesn't play, Aiden O'Connell could go up against Jimmy Garoppolo in the first game of the regular season. But it's – but <laughs> what do you mean? No. no we are, we're going to yeah, put up 70 Jimmy, for sure if that happens. Jimmy no. G signed with the Chargers. Didn't what? he sign with the Niners? That's a very no. good point. he was on the Rams. The Rams was it the Rams? I thought it's it was the, the Chargers. Was it it's the Rams? The Rams. It's the Rams. Oh, oh man, that would have been that would have been, that, that yeah. been poetic, that man. Funny. That, that would have been, been super poetic. No. Yeah, <laughs> especially if we went in there and just manhandled them. Jesus. No, it probably that would have been poor, super poetic. Bro. Poor old Easton Stick, who's look at what my wife just brought me. Hello, some Raiders iced tea. That's, yeah, right. that's what that is. <laughs> it's my immunity shot. Yeah, right. It's nice. special ice tea yeah. right there. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. Well, man. Uh, thank you, baby. I tell you what, I'm I am super stoked about the Raiders this year. Can't wait to get down and hang out with the boys and hang out with OC Raider. Hang out with your wifey. My wifey's gonna be down there. It's gonna be a lot of fun. Guys, if you missed out on the tickets giveaway, do not fret. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you hit the bell notification. And make sure you go over to blackrainofficial.com. Sign up for the newsletter because we are always doing giveaways. This time it was some tickets to an open practice. You might get a t-shirt. You might get some supplements from one of our sponsors. You might get uh, a poster. You might win some cash. You never know what I'm going to do because I'm kind of crazy and I just like to give stuff away. So uh, make sure that you guys are doing that. Come and hang out with us uh, over here at the Raider D Podcast. Check out my boy, Western Conference, his YouTube channel, and check out Raider Nation Hotspot, his YouTube channel. Uh, until next time, guys, be good to yourselves, be good to your family, be good to the nation. You know how we end these streams each and every single time. Say it with me. Raiders! Raiders!